Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to apply a priori algorithm to generate strong association rules for the given data set. This is the solved example number two. The link for other solved example is given in the description below. This is the data set given to us consisting of uh, five transaction IDs and in each and every transaction, the customer buys few products like uh, bread, butter and milk. Uh, beer, cookies, diapers and so on. Here what we need to do is uh, we need to apply a priori algorithm to generate a strong association rules given the minimum support of 40% uh, and the minimum confidence of 70% in this case. First what we need to do is uh, we need to generate a frequent item sets. Once you generate the frequent item sets we can generate the association rules uh, with this particular minimum confidence. So first what we do is uh, we will try to generate the frequent item sets a uh, step by step. For that reason first we need to generate the item sets and then we need to find the qualified frequent item sets that is the item set which is having minimum support. So I will explain how to do it uh, step by step. In this case we have uh, five unique uh, uh, products here that is bread, butter, milk, diaper and uh, beers. So we will write those particular thing in the first column of this table uh, as one item set. Then we count the number of times a particular product was uh, bought. For example, bread. Bread was bought once, twice, uh, thrice here. So that is three in this case. Similarly, butter. Uh, butter was bought first time, second time and then somewhere here it's a third time. So it, it is three here. Similarly, we need to count the number of times a particular item was bought and then we need to write in the second column that is the support count. So this is a one item set table. From here, we need to generate the one frequent item sets. For that reason, first we need to do some simple calculation. The minimum support given to us is 40%. So the minimum support count is equivalent to minimum support that is 40% multiplied by item set count that is how many items are there there are five items so the answer is 200 percent that is nothing but two two should be the minimum support count then only you can say that one item set is a one frequent item set so in this case except this cookies all are one frequent item sets those i have written in this particular table that is nothing but one frequent item set now if you look at this particular one frequent item set we have five unique items again we need to generate two item sets here so these are the five uh, items we have so two item sets are like uh, bread butter bread diaper bread milk bread beer that's a fi first five combinations next one is uh, butter diaper butter milk butter beer the next are diaper milk diaper beer and the last one is milk beer so those are the combinations I have written here. Once you write these particular combinations, we need to uh, find or can say that we need to count how many number of times these two items were bought together. Bread and butter, if you see here, it is uh, bought first time in this uh, first transaction, second time it was bought. And then uh, in the fourth transaction also, these two items were bought together. So the answer is three in this case. Similarly, bread diaper bread diaper was not bought here uh, i think in the fourth transaction bread is present and diapers is present so it is bought only one time bread and milk bread and milk is present in the first one bread and milk is present in the fourth transaction so it is two similarly we have to find the support count for each and every item that is nothing but how many number of times these two items were bought together and then we need to select the two item sets which are having minimum support count of uh, two or more so in this case, uh, we have only four possibilities that is bread milk, bread butter, butter milk and diaper beer in this case. So these are the four possibilities. Now from this particular uh, two frequent item sets, we need to generate three frequent item sets. For that reason, first we need to write uh, three item sets. So first we identify what are the unique items are present here. Bread, butter, milk, diaper and beer. All five are uh, unique items here. From this particular five unique items, we need to generate three item sets in this case. I will show you one example. How can you do this one is bread. We can start with bread here. Bread, butter, milk. Bread, butter, diaper. Bread, butter, beer. So bread and butter is over. 
सो ब्रेड मिल्क डायपर ब्रेड मिल्क बियर ब्रेड एंड मिल्क इज ओवर ब्रेड डायपर बियर सो ब्रेड बटर ब्रेड मिल्क ब्रेड डायपर ऑल आर ओवर नाउ आई विल कम विथ दिस वन बटर मिल्क डायपर बटर मिल्क बियर एंड देन बटर डायपर बियर दैट्स अ नाइन्थ पॉसिबिलिटी एंड द टेंथ पॉसिबिलिटी इज मिल्क डायपर बियर हियर सो टोटली वी हैव टेन पॉसिबिलिटीज फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर टेन पॉसिबिलिटीज वी हैव टू अगेन काउंट द मिनिमम सपोर्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल हाउ मेनी नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स दीज आइटम्स वेयर बॉट दैट इज नथिंग बट सपोर्ट काउंट ब्रेड मिल्क बटर ब्रेड मिल्क बटर इज प्रजेंट हियर दिस अ फर्स्ट टाइम ब्रेड मिल्क बटर इज प्रजेंट वन मोर टाइम हियर सो इट इज टू सिमिलरली इफ यू गो इ द सेकेंड वन ब्रेड बटर डायपर ब्रेड बटर डायपर इज present in the fourth transaction you can see here bread butter diaper is present anywhere else it is not present so it is only one similarly we have to do it for all combinations and then write that particular support count in the second column next uh, we have to select the three frequent item set which satisfies the minimum support of two in this case we have only one that is bread butter milk with a support count of two in this case now coming back to the next one uh, that is so once you find the free three frequent item set we need to check whether it is possible to write four frequent item sets in this uh, three frequent item set we have only three items so definitely it is not possible to write four frequent item sets so we have to stop here and that is uh, generating the frequent item sets now we need to write the association rules and uh, select only those association rules which are strong based on the confidence uh, percentage now uh, if you want to generate the uh, what we can say that uh, the strong association rules we have to follow this particular procedure first we need to note what is the minimum confidence given the minimum confidence in this case is 70% so if you want to calculate the confidence of a particular rule let us say that x tends to y it is nothing but the number of times both the products were bought together divided by the number of times the first item was bought together bought so in this case uh, how many number of times x and y bought together divided by the number of time x was bought here so first i will write down the frequent item sets in this case we have uh, four two frequent item sets are there and one three frequent item set is present so i have listed all those particular things over here next uh, i will start with one uh, frequent item set and then i will generate a association rule so first one is this that is a bread and butter so bread and butter the rules can be bread butter or butter bread these are the two possibilities now i will check how many number of times bread and butter was uh, bought together bread and butter was bought together three times and how many number of times bread appears bread appears three times so 3 by 3 is equal to 100% it is a strong rule in this case the other side is what butter bread butter bread is bought three times and how many number of times butter appears butter was uh, uh, appearing three times it means it was bought three times so 3 by 3 is equal to 100 again it is a strong rule here coming back to the next one that is uh, bread milk bread milk is the one possibility milk bread is the another possibility bread milk how many number of times it was bought together bread milk is bought together two times how many number of times bread appears is it is three times so 2 by 3 67% it is not a strong rule in this case other side is milk bread milk bread is again bought two times milk appears two times 2 by 2 is equal to 100% it is a strong rule coming back to the next one that is uh, butter milk here so butter milk or milk butter butter milk is bought together two times butter appears uh, three times 2 by 3 67% it is not a strong rule milk butter is the other possibility milk butter is bought together two times milk appears two times so 2 by 2 it is a strong rule in this case coming back to the next one that is diaper beer this is the next one so the first rule is diapers beer second rule is beer diapers diapers beer is bought together two times diapers appears three times 67% it is not a strong rule beer diapers beer diaper is bought together two times beer appears two times 2 by 2 it is 100% it's a strong rule in this case coming back to the last one we have left with only one uh, frequent item set that is uh, bread butter milk 
here we have to use a simple logic to generate the uh, different association rules so what we do here is uh, we will write two at a time on the left hand side or one at a time on the left hand side anyone is uh, perfectly fine so bread butter remaining is milk here so how many times all three were bought together all the time it is two only bread and butter three times so two by three 67 percent not a strong rule so other side of this one is what milk bread butter uh, or, or any order you can write but in this case i have written uh, this butter this side so it will become bread milk butter this one more one more cost possibility all three were bought together two times and um, bread and milk were bought together two times so that is nothing but two by two hundred percent and the next time what we can do is we can uh, uh, bring this particular butter this side bread this side that's a one more possibility okay so milk butter bread is the one more possibility two times all three were bought milk and uh, butter were bought together uh, milk and butter two times so it is be uh, two by two again here strong rule strong rule now the next one is what bread butter milk so the opposite of this one so two by three uh, it's not a strong rule next one is i can bring this particular uh, uh, butter this side bread this side and the last time i will bring milk this side and then the butter this side so that is a one more thing these two are uh, not a strong rules but the last one is a strong rule in this case so this is how actually you can generate the association rules and then you can check whether association rule is a strong or not by considering this particular confidence value so this is a very simple process with which you will be able to generate the frequent item sets and then you can generate the association rules and then select the association rule based on the minimum confidence in this case. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.